all righty what's going on guys edward here back with another video this is going to be another quick one um it's been a long time since i haven't been posting this often but just let me know in the comment section if you want me to continue posting just short videos uh based on how the day was and so probably you can learn from it as well so just let me know i want to hear it from you guys so anyways this this uh again in this day this is i'm going to show you here how i was able to make on the past video the video from yesterday i showed you how i made 641 dollars in around one hour and 50 minutes or so this time i made a little over 800 dollars um in let me show you here because i was actually out on break even my first position was in this area let me show you what i sent to the team this morning this is my vip group right here okay so this is where the price was going into this supply i'll show you the break i'll break it down for you but just showing you here where my entry was and where my take profit ended okay so now the thing is that in this move to the downside my entry you see here that i actually i was entering right there in the first position and i placed my stop loss here right this was my take profit so what happened was in the first entry in this drop i took partial profits and i moved my stops to break even sadly my broker when it pulled back that pullback my broker got got me out on break even Trading view did not hit that break-even point almost, probably with the spread. I don't know, probably would have got it, uh, got you out, but did not show the break-even right here. It did stop me on break-even on my end, though, on my broker. So I decided to hop back in and I did enter just a little late, as you can see in this position. That was my actual position a little later and then just placed my stop loss back to where it was. So I made two positions, basically. I made, this is the partial, this is what I'm saying. The, the first partial profit that I took was this one. And then uh, on my second position, which was right here, continue holding. And that one, that's the one that actually brought it down. So in conclusion, this trade, I made $800 in around one hour and 30 minutes or so. Again, another quick and easy day. Days has not been like this easy for a very long time. And well, you guys, I'm sure you guys know, but since markets has been quite, quite interesting, quite choppy, but right now we're having a massive drop and I was definitely expecting that drop to happen, especially on S&P 500 this week. It did mess me up a couple of times uh, right here. If you saw my previous video, I, I explained that this trade, I was also getting a sell from, from this area, placing my stop loss here and my take profit in this area, but I was actually out on break even and the price dropped all night. This was all thanks to Nvidia. It's been a crazy week, but at the end of the day, the market did end up dropping. So let me show you the breakdown right quick here, but no waste of time. So my entry, I don't know if you remember here, just make sure to watch my previous video from yesterday okay this was nasdaq today nice accumulation it gave a nice buy right here by the way during london session that i actually missed i don't trade london right i nor i mainly trade new york but there was a beautiful buy formation right here during london so uh anyways this was my actual sell from yesterday uh, on nasdaq right on that pullback and we can see that it did the same thing Right here today I, I love this quick and easy formation just impulse correction impulse correction impulse right and every time the price was pulling back i was using my fib from the high to the low from the high to the low to understand where is the discount and premium right we are in premium this time i decided to go today i was waiting i was waiting today this this supply all of a sudden smart money concept because this is not this was not actually well it's sort of a combination let's say it's a, it's a combination between smart money concepts and ict concepts but i was mainly waiting for this fair volley gap right here 
I was thinking that price may be reversing from this imbalance, from this one hour. So we had news today. Again, we had news. We had the PCE and this one, I tell you, it. we had a big, big push. If you go on a five minute time frame, look at this push, right? At 8.30. So this report broke that fair value gap entirely. Just one clean break. And I was wondering, hmm, is it really like, are we are we actually going to continue pushing up from here, or all is it all just manipulation from uh, from the news? You know, because if you look in here, this is technically as well another accumulation manipulation distribution. There was a big accumulation, right? And then we had manipulation, and then boom, this is the the actual crash. And and I think we're going to most likely continue dropping. You know, so I was watching. This for Valley Gap, I was interested, I wanted to see, and I told my team, guys, let's keep an eye here and see if we happen to have, you know, price to slow down and maybe give us an entry from here. I want to see maybe a change of state of delivery, order block and all that stuff right here. So I can sell from here to here. But guess what? No, those, this five minute candle just went straight through it. And then I was like, oh, damn. All right, let's take a look again on higher time frame one more time just to see where it's going. Probably it's going for this high. Most likely is going to be taking this high. But then I saw that, you know, this right here. And let me explain this because this is where probably a lot of people also fails. ICT, the way ICT marks the order blocks is actually this way. He is going to be marking up the order block. You see this series of candles to the upside. Sweeping liquidity right here. SMT divergence from yesterday. And the price dropped from there. So this series of candles, one, two, three candles, ICT will mark that as the actual order block. So this, this is technically the, the, the order block, like this, this whole zone, right? This is the actual order block. But as an SMC trader, Smart Money Concepts, a, this right here, supply or order block, whatever, right? And this is a POI. It's a zone that we're interested to sell, right? So what happens is that as smart money concepts tend to, um, what's the word? Forgot the word. Reduce or forgot the word. I'm, it's going to be coming out in, in, in English in, in my head in one minute. But anyways, we are trying to reduce right here what is happening, right? This order block right here, we're trying to refine. That's the word, refinement. So this order block or supply zone, it's a refinement from this entire block right here, this three series of candle. This is the realistic order block. This is the actual order block, okay? Have you wonder why sometimes, you know, if you have an order block like this, have you wonder why sometimes the price happened to stop somewhere here and instead of going to your actual extreme, it doesn't go, it doesn't tap and just goes? Look at what happened here on NASDAQ today. If you look in here on the one hour as well, the same S is S&P right here. Look at this, right? So this series of candles, this three series of candles, according to ICT, that's the order block. That's the actual order block, this three series of candles. You see? So if an SMC trader was looking for this, only this last candle before the big move to the downside, this, you would have missed it. You know what I mean? And you see the price actually did react it to the actual order block, which is this is the actual order block. So if you want to refine that order block to the last candle, there's the chances for missing that position increases. You, you will be missing some entries, right? You see? So I hope it makes sense. You know, when it comes to marking up an order block, you know, you can refine that order block to the last candle, but ideally it would be here, the opening price of this candle, not the week. I see some, uh, even including the week if you want, but I, I I normally just mark up the body, you know? So right here in this case, because I saw the price already pumping up, I did not see any early rejection from this actual order block. I was like, okay, well, this, this, let's see if it's gonna react all the way to the top because it's not always the same, okay? Every 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 setup, every formation, they, 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 they are different, you know? Every day they can change, they can be totally different. So. Anyways, I decided to mark up that supply and I went on the 15 minute and five minute and just decided to take the shot. I said, okay, it totally worth it. I, 
If I lose, I lose. The risk to reward right here is the one that is very, uh, I'm gonna say very attractive right now, because right after this sweep, boom, big displacement. And look at the risk to reward. It's beautiful, right? Very attractive. So I didn't care if I lose this trade, that's fine. I just know that I'm sitting in a very good position right now. I'm sitting in a very good position because I know that the price, it's it's stopping already an order block. Maybe it's just a matter of time. This is just a sweep after this accumulation. This is a manipulation with the news, tapping into that supply, and then boom, expecting that, that drop to happen. So you see, today was like a combination. It was, it was a combination from ICT and Smart Money Concept. So if you're interested in learning more, just make sure to watch my videos. I do have a couple of playlists based on Smart Money Concepts, ICT techniques. Whatever strategy you're trying to look for, I got it. Make sure to check on my on my main page on my YouTube channel, and you will find there. Besides that, if you want to follow me on my Telegram group uh, for free, I do have a Telegram group right there. Make sure to also follow me on my Instagram. I do post um, pretty much my results, what I'm doing day to day. I try to keep it active. I, I'm not that active actually on social media, but I promise I'm, I'm going to keep working and be more active in there so you guys can can see. So if you have any questions, doubts, you can reach me out on Instagram or directly just by sending a message directly here or on my Telegram. Just make sure to check it out. Also, if you want to be part of my VIP group, make sure to check my website, teamprofitsfx.com, right? And you can watch my program in there, see if you're interested in this type of program. I do not sell signals, okay? All this, uh, my group right here, I post videos. This is this is a continuous mentorship that I do to my team pretty much every day. I go live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I trade live with my team. Mondays and Fridays, I know I normally don't go live in there because they, they're more for backtesting or trying out things. This still doesn't mean that I don't trade Mondays and Tuesday, uh, Mondays and Fridays, I do. Um, it's just that I, I don't go actually live, but anyways, I just hope it makes sense. Hope you guys understood. This was a very simple trade today. I really enjoy it and quick $800 in just less than, you know, less than two hours again, just one hour and 30 minutes and that's it. So thank you again guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.